My name is Darnell Murphy, and today I'll be joined by an actor that has more years of Hollywood experience than I have Valorant wins. Please welcome the one and only Davier. <laughs> you stupid. It's not even that much. <laughs> Bro, I am not good at Valorant, and also I haven't played much. But So this statement is both true and also, I mean, I'm bad at Valorant, but you get the idea. I'm off to show you the ropes then. I'm off to show you the ropes. Please, please, please got it. You, you got it. I mean, first off, can I see, can we see his setup? Can you show me your setup? Yeah, I mean, why not? Why not? What's going on? How y'all living? <laughs> Welcome to Area 51. I instantly feel poor. Like this is a really good, this is a setup. Mine's just like a rinky dink little studio. No, this is, you did, believe it or not, this is the corner of my living room in my family room. This is the corner space. I built out this corner space because of my Twitch stream and just saving money and being smart with the money and going, yo, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do it with one little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit there, I'm gonna add a little bit, add a little bit, Damn. just a little bit. And then eventually when I got on Alienware, Alienware was like, yo, we're gonna help you. We wanna work with you. We love your energy and we love all this stuff. And they just said, F all your old model niggas you got, F all your other peripherals, you gonna need a new PC, we give you, and it, they just, they just, it was zippity boppity well, boom. It looks it's like. <laughs> well, I know you're doing you do you're doing a lot of stuff. I look actor, singer. Um, you've done so, and you're, you know streamer. Like, my question is, having started acting at the age of six, how did you get started in the film industry? Believe it or not, I got just discovered in a mall. Really? Uh, um, a talent scout saw me singing and dancing, uh, drawing in a crowd at a mall. I was a fearful six year old, you know, African American little black boy, black boy joy. And uh, she was like, yo, who's this kid? Like, this kid's not afraid. He's got a lot of energy. This kid needs to be on television. And luckily enough, she was legitimate. She wasn't fake. She wasn't, you know, somebody was trying to take her money. <laughs> she was like, yo, like, I'm really about this. I'm really, this is like my life. And I really try to bring newer people out here and, and you know, show them the experience of how beautiful acting is. And, um, you know, my mom and dad took, took, took note of it had a conversation with her, we had a meeting, we got signed her. First audition I went out for, I booked it. It was a national commercial with Damn. Shaquille O'Neal and we never looked back after that. We just we just kept doing it. We've just been doing it all this time. Now. Having done it at the age of six and being in the industry now as a grown black male in the year 2020, how have you seen it change? I think back then it was a lot harder to get roles as an African-American. Um, especially now with everything, it's way more diverse. There's way more diverse roles, diverse leadings. Um, we're seeing a lot more African-American leading roles for like the main roles. Not like sidekick main roles. Not like we're, we're kind of the, the, the funny yeah. individual within. Like we're actually the leading star. Like, 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 like Thor of the next film. Like a Spider-Man of the next film. Like, you know, a, a horror film where the black person don't die first. God, what, you know a, what, I'm what an achievement. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like I did a horror film like a, like a couple of years ago, and even though I died at the end, I didn't die first. You didn't die first. And yeah, like to really see the change, the change, and not only impactfulness, but also at the same time, um, it's 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 also adding to, uh, to to black women too. Black women are now getting these leading roles as well, and it's the same thing in terms of uh, you know uh, the LGBTQ, and of course now we're seeing black trans being able to be a part of that spectrum of being able to have those leading roles or at least those roles where now we're seeing more of these people more and there's more representation in different ways it's not just just black people in general it's black people in different ways right yeah it's black black women black and 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 not even that too even 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 fat boys we've been getting some love too we get some chubby, we've been getting some thick, <laughs> some thick women that's getting some love too. And I love it because it's like, yo, it's not always gotta be the the slim trim and the and the modelish looking thick. Just with the, you know what I'm saying? It's like just like, no, it's it's becoming more realistic. But, and that's what I love about it. It's it's being way more accepting now. No, that it still is hard. Because I remember I had a conversation with somebody, um, uh, Mr. Kevin over at Entertainment Week, over at Entertainment News, and he, he first thing he told me like, keep moving, keep grinding. It's always gonna be stacked against you. Yeah. First thing I was told, it's always gonna be stacked against you. As long as you know that, and as long as you still continue with pride, with black excellence, 
and joy every time that you start doing whatever you're doing, you will make it. But just know that it is against you. And I was like, damn. Like that was like, that was beautiful to hear that. But at the same time, it was like both a beautiful, it was both beautiful and a rude awakening at the same time. So then you said it, you said it stacked against you. Would you say there's any, like, is there any advice you have for people who like may, who may not have heard those exact words? What would you say, like, how do you persevere when it feels like the forces that be are working against you? Man, I won't even lie. I'm kind of been feeling that way just recently too. And it's, it's crazy to even have that question asked right now because I think there's a lot of factors, obviously, because of, you know, because of COVID and how it's affected a lot of people's lives, uh, people's families, um, you know, people's jobs. Um, the, the, the normality of, of our way of life has changed so drastically. Now people are wearing more than one mask. Now it's two and threes on everyone's faces. Um, interactions with people are a lot more hesitant and just, just being able to go see a friend or just go work out. The idea of, of just going out is so different now. It's, it's definitely changed so much. And even with acting too, like acting, it's like I, I haven't gone to a single audition physically. It's all been here at the studio, here in my house. I've done commercials. I've done voiceover work. I've done television um, auditions all from right here, which actually is a lot harder. Really? You know, those self tapes are a lot harder because you're not there in the face of the casting director where if the casting director likes you, they can give you a, a, oh. a different approach. They can go, hey, I like what you did. Let's do it more like this. I don't, you don't get that direction. You got, you got to just, you got to just go with your gut and you got to hope that what they like is something that they're going to want to see again, or at least give you, a, you know, another criteria later. So, it's a lot harder within the sense of just just IRL, right? Yeah. But then being black on top of that is like, there's double the pleasure. There's double that with with the roles that's you know we're not seeing it as much with everything going on. And it's funny because earlier I just said there's a lot more roles that's coming out when in reality it's still just like, it's like all this stuff coming out. And what I can say is that the idea of being black is changing. It is. It's no longer just the normal thug. It's not the normal person that's dealing with hardships. It can be somebody that, that could be a CEO, that could be an owner, so, that could be somebody as a stockbroker, you know, it, 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 a tech person, as someone who's a genius. It could be anybody. And that idea is changing. I love that. Gotcha. So would you say like, you just kind of had to stick with it. It's an act of like attrition, perseverance. Ask you have to, you have to keep going. You have to keep pushing. Like, it, it, and it's just, it's something where it's like, if it's something you want, you gotta put in that time. You gotta put in the effort. And it's easier said than done, you know? Cause I, cause a lot of people, I've, listen, I've had a lot of people ask me like, how do you get into acting? And I've always kind of said like a lot of the similar things. I don't know because I kind of just fell into it. I have to know, how did you become a part of Xset Gaming? You know what's crazy? And you know what you know what I love about like just life? You never know. Don't tell me you were dancing in the mall and got all this stuff. Cause I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm gonna be real mad if you say that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's on funny though, Matt. I was like, yeah, I was dancing in the mall again. And this No, like <laughs> You was like in this pandemic? No. I'm about to start going to so, malls. <laughs> imagine. So, okay, so what happened was was one of my one of my friends uh, owns a channel by the name of Nation of Trolls. Okay. Subsequently enough, his Instagram got bought out by a company um, that wanted to work with him on pushing more social media content. So the, the, the name got changed to Frame Rate, and the owner of it is uh, somebody that he was working with very, very closely. Mm -hmm. So... You know, he was pushing me out to do like all of this stuff. Like whenever something was happening, he was like, yo, you should get in on this. I want you to be a part of this, blah, blah, blah. So he was wanting me to have like kind of like my own show on their network. And I was like, if you guys want one, I'm down. I'm absolutely down. Cause I also host, I commentate. I've done stuff with like Disney movie servers and I've done stuff with, you know, uh, Nickelodeon. I've done some stuff with the barracks and Nike and things like that. Um, so I have experience hosting as well. And, um, yeah, he hit me and he was like, yo, I'm talking to my boss about you. I think you would be a great fit for like whatever, like whatever's going on here. There's something here for you. And he just kept bringing my name out to the boss. He kept bringing him up over and over and over and over again. 
So he goes, so he goes, he hits me up and he goes, yo, the boss man gonna call you pretty soon. I was like, all right, bet. Like, you know, blah, blah, blah. He, I get a call from him. We start having this really cool conversation. I showed him some clips and he's like, yo, I like your style. I like your attitude. I like who you are. I've seen some of your clips. I think you're really funny. Um, I actually have this thing that I've been brewing up. I can't tell you what it is yet, but give me like a couple, give me like a couple weeks and I can be able to kind of tell you a little bit more. I was like, all right, cool. Fast forward a couple weeks later, um, I get a call. We're talking again. Believe it or not, I was actually talking to another esports team really? about possibly picking me up too. Can, can you say which one? I can't say. Okay, fair enough. But fair somebody enough. else, somebody else was gonna pick me up, and I was like, "Yo, I got another team that's like kind of talking to me. I just want to make sure that whatever it is isn't gonna interfere with whatever you want me to do." And he goes. Don't, because I'm doing a team. It's gonna be called Xset. We have some partners that are uh, departing from from Phase Clan oh. who wants to do something, and they're they're actually wanting to do something big. They got a lot of ideas. They got a lot of plans, and I think you would be one of the best fits for our brand. And I was like, holy, shit. like I just I wasn't ready for that. So to get that. And it's crazy enough because when you get that friend that's that's pushing you over and over again, it's just you never know the friendships that you will that you will begin to have and the people that like what you're doing. And that's why I always tell people, create your own style, create your own vibes. Never try to copy someone else's and whether it's on stream or whether it is whatever, because someone else will see what you're doing and like it. Yeah. And when they like it, they'll push it to others. And because of what I was focusing on and how I wanted to create my content and how crazy my, my thing was and what I was doing, I was doing all this. Somebody saw it, told someone else about it. And because of that friend, it gave me the opportunity to be a part of Exa. Last question I want to ask is, I mean, you said you said earlier um, your name actually is um, Ethiopian for teacher, right? Yes, yes, yes. So nah. along that same sentiment, what would you have to say to those at home watching right now? What do you want to depart them with? What knowledge do you have to give? If you have something you want to do, if you have something that you want to create that you feel like, yo, this is it. This is what I want to make happen. If you're passionate about it. Now is the time more than ever. It really is. I know that it might be weird to think that way, but I've seen a lot of people come out of out of the slums to do what they want to do. I've seen people go from, you know, certain things in terms of what they want and how they want to do it from one space to the next. And in those type of ways, you never truly know what you're going to grow unless you put it all out there. And this, I, I think my setup is kind of a perfect example of me being able to just put it out there and put a lot of time and energy and effort into a space that I truly felt like I, I, I earned this. I put in the time, I put in the effort, I put in the content. I've grown an incredible community that backs me and, and loves and supports me no matter what. And sometimes what I'm starting to realize too, and I think what a lot of people start to realize in these type of instances is sometimes your brain can kind of misconstrued where you want to be versus not realizing where you're at. And I've been kind of in this slump of like, you know, maybe certain things aren't happening the way that I want to. Maybe it's not hidden as hard as I would like to. And sometimes it's good to take a step back and realize like how far you've gotten. So if you are in a position where you are doing something, you might not be at that place that you want to look back at where you are and, and, and realize like how fortunate you are. And if you're not in that place yet, look within these next couple of months to figure out how to grow it and do it by steps because all of this right here with my setup this all didn't happen in one day i didn't get no extreme makeover home edition and they just someone gifted me all this in one night and i came back the next day and it's like oh my, oh my god, god. <laughs> this is beautiful. like christmas no miracle. i didn't get i didn't get a christmas miracle type thing this this took years and, and years of, of work and momentum and growth 
and um, and people like watch them that enjoy me so much. And this is my fourth time back on this mother. We like eventually y'all gonna have to just give me a show. Eventually y'all gonna have to just give me a show. I'm gonna be real. Like we gonna have to talk about something. Me right. hosting something. Hey, what's going on, man? It's your boy Ambush King. Listen, I came again. I'll be host here a guest a couple times. Now it's time for me to run some. Shit. That's all I'm saying. I'm just putting that out there. I'm from your my lips to God's ears. Somebody's listening out here. They are. So all I'm saying is is. Continue with what you're doing. And if you haven't started, get started. Awesome, man. I appreciate that. And that's all great words. I know you've been working hard since you were six. That's how you got to where you are. Definitely earned. And I mean, honestly, dude, like, thank you so much for being in us. Thank you for joining us. Like, it's phenomenal. And I can't wait to see what you do, like, next and moving forward. Hey, hey, hey. When you want them, when you want them Valorant tips, I got you. Yes, bro. please. Gosh. Please. Got you. My brother. <laughs> Awesome. We'll have more guests throughout the month as we continue our celebration of Black History Month. In the meantime, head on over to the Vin Download YouTube channel and please be sure to like and subscribe to get more great content like this. And of course, stay awesome.